Hello, First United Methodist kids. My name is Stacy Dundon, and today I'm gonna to be um, walking you through the steps on how to paint a baby Jesus in the manger ornament. You have a couple different options. I'm gonna walk you through both of those options here in just a minute. Um, I'm an art teacher. I'm here at school making this video. I apologize for my silly sweatshirt. Uh, today is, is silly holiday sweatshirt um, at school, so <laughs> I apologize. Um, anyway, uh, feel free to pause this video as we go through. I'm going to explain the materials that you'll need here in a moment, depending on which one of these ornaments you want to paint. And I hope you enjoy painting with me, and I hope you have a wonderful Merry Christmas. Um, so for this project, uh, you are going to need, I'm going to turn the camera this way, you're going to need a paper plate to put your paint on, um, you're going to need a paper towel, you're going to need a couple different paint brushes, um, a, a really small one and a little bit thicker one, this one we're going to use to paint the background, our sky, and then the smaller one we'll do for the nativity, not the nativity, the manger and baby Jesus in the manger. Um, we're also going to paint a little star. So we have some smaller details that we'll want um, a smaller paintbrush for. All right, so I have a variety of paints. So depending on what you have at home, also, sorry, you're also going to need a little water cup. Um, depending on what you have at home available to you, um, like I said, we're going to experiment with a black sky um, or a blue sky. So if you have um, one or both of these, you get to pick which color sky you want to do. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to do both. Um, and then you're going to need um, a brown. I have a, a darker brown and a, and a little bit lighter brown. Again, I think I'm going to use a darker one on my blue sky one and this lighter brown on the black sky. So again, depending on what you choose for your sky. And then you're going to need white because we're going to put some stars in the sky. And then you're going to need a gold. Um, I have some metallic shiny gold paint that I'm going to use. Um, but if you don't, you just have regular gold, or you can even use yellow. If you just have yellow, that will work too. So those are the main colors you're gonna need. You're gonna need a blue or a black. You're gonna need a brown. You're gonna need a gold and a white. All right, so here we go. We're gonna start by painting um, our sky first. We're gonna paint the whole background, either your blue or black color. And then you're gonna need to wait a little bit and let that dry uh, before we can move on to painting the manger. All right, so follow along as we paint our really sweet and beautiful um, baby Jesus in a manger ornament. All right, so I have poured a little bit of blue and a little bit of black onto my paint. Remember, I'm doing two, and you get to choose which blue or black sky you want. Now, my blue is a little bit lighter. If you just have a regular royal blue, any blue will, will work. So um, it, it's not specific. We're just having fun with this, so just use what you got. Um, all right, so I'm gonna use my larger paintbrush. Um, you wanna dip it in your water because you want your bristles wet first. And I'm gonna paint um, the background to the ceramic one first. I'm gonna use blue on this. So we're gonna dip my paintbrush into the paint. We hold our paintbrush like we're holding a pencil. If we hold our paintbrush out here, we don't have very much control. So we wanna hold it like a, a pencil. And um, we're just gonna fill in this whole circle all the way to the edges, blue. It's up to you if you want to paint um, the top where the little um, ribbon is or if you want to leave that white. I think I'm going to leave it white, so I'm just going to curve um, my paint around. But this is your own ornament. This is your artwork, so you paint it how you think it's going to look best. Also, if you want to paint um, the edges, there's an edge here. If you want to paint that blue, you can. I'm going to also leave mine white, but have fun with this. So I went around the edges and now I'm just going to fill in the whole thing all solid blue. I want to cover, cover the whole thing, leaving no white spaces. So it's nice and solid like so. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside and let that dry for a minute. While that's drying, I'm gonna rinse my brush here because I'm gonna do an example of the black sky. If you were interested in trying out a darker sky, we'll see what that looks like when we're all done. It's a fun experiment. Okay, so um, I washed my brush. I'm gonna get some black. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna fill this all in, 
all solid black. I'm gonna start with the edges first. Sometimes I feel like it's easiest to outline what you're painting and then go back in and fill it in. It kind of helps you stay inside the shape a little bit better if you outline it. Right, so now it is all nice and solid black, like so. I le again, I left the edges um, just the wood color, but if you wanted to paint them all black, you could. All right, I'm gonna set that aside. You're probably gonna wanna wait about five-ish minutes. Oh, sorry, I'm at school, that's the school bell. Um, you're gonna wanna wait five-ish minutes or so um, and let that fully dry. And our next step is we're going to paint um, the manger. Okay. Um, my blue paint is dry uh, and now we're going to paint um, the little manger where baby Jesus is laying and we're going to do on this one we're going to do um, a little bit of the barn that he's in. Um, so on my lighter blue ornament I'm going to use a darker brown but on the black one I've, I've poured a lighter brown. So if you chose black um, as your background, you're going to want to use a lighter brown. If you don't have a light brown and you just have a dark brown, you can mix some white into it to make it lighter so that you can see it because the dark brown may not show up very well on the black. Okay. Um, so I'm going to use a pencil on my blue one and see if I can't just draw in a little bit of the manger. I'm going to actually show you so you can see what we're doing. All right. So we're going to pretend that this is my ornament. All right. So we're going to be painting, I'm going to turn it this way so I can draw it. We're going to paint a really simple little barn. So it's going to be a straight line, a straight line. Then it's going to connect and make a little roof like so. It's really, really basic. And then for our manger, we're just going to paint a little X right here. And then we're gonna put, we're gonna paint, whoop, we're gonna paint some hay and baby Jesus inside that. So really, this is just the beginnings. This isn't finished. I'll be like, it's an X. It's gonna look like the little um, manger when we're done with it. because we're gonna paint some hay and baby Jesus inside of it. So if it helps you and you wanna just sketch it out on your ornament first, just so you know where you're painting, you can do that really lightly onto your ornament. So I have a good idea of where I'm going. like so, can you see mine? And um, we do wanna leave a little bit of room up here because we're gonna put a star on the top um, of the roof of our barn. And then my manger is gonna sit right in here. All right, <laughs> technology issues. I ran out of space on my phone and it stopped recording. Sorry about that. So you missed watching me paint, but that's okay. You got to see me sketch in um, the barn and the manger. So I painted just right along those lines with my darker brown um, on the blue ornament. And then what I did on the black one, okay, I didn't know that also, I didn't know that it stopped recording it. So I thought I was talking to you and painting and it wasn't recording, but anyway. So, um, and then on my black one, I chose the lighter brown so that you could see it a little bit better. Um, and I just did a manger. So this one, I did my manger a lot larger. And so the focus on this one is just going to be baby Jesus and a star. And then this one has the barn and baby Jesus. So again, you have a couple options on which direction you want to go. All right. So our next step is we are going to use, um, our gold and we're going to paint in the hay and the star. So of course, like I said, this kind of goes in phases. You have to take little breaks here and there and let things dry. So I have let my brown dry on my blue one and now I'm ready for my gold. And I'm gonna use, um, because I have a whole bunch of different paints here at school, you may not as much. So again, if you don't have gold, um, you could use yellow. I'm gonna use regular gold um, for the hay and then I think I'm gonna use my metallic shiny gold for my star. Um, 
but if you want your hay to sparkle and you have metallic gold at home, go ahead. And again, if you don't have gold and you wanna just use yellow, that will work too. Okay, so I'm going to use for my hay, my smaller, my smaller paintbrush. Gotta make sure it's washed, get all that brown off of there. So wash it, dry it. Okay, so I've got my small, my small little paintbrush because we're working kind of tiny here and we are going to use some gold or yellow whatever you have at home and we are now going to paint um, some hay inside of our manger so we're just going to use do little brush strokes because we want it to look like hay little small brush strokes that look like that can you see we're just filling our manger with some hay All right, so that's what my manger looks like right now. And I'm gonna let that dry. I might use a little bit of brown just to add some, so if you still have some brown, just to add some highlights or shadows, make it look a little bit more realistic so it's not just one color of hay. And you wanna add that in there. You can so that it looks like that. So I have a couple different colors. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry for a minute and I'm gonna work on this one. So I'm going back to my gold and this one's bigger, my, uh, my manger. So I'm gonna fill this all up with, trying to get where you can see it a little bit better, with my hay. And again, I'm just doing little brush strokes because hay is, you know, sort of twiggy. It's not, it's not solid. So just little lines, bunch of little lines. It looks sort of like that. I wanna put a few more in. And done. Okay, I'm just gonna let that dry. I'm gonna come back to that in just a sec. Washing my paintbrush. And now I'm gonna use my metallic gold and I'm gonna just make my little star. While, while my hay is drying down here, we can't paint baby Jesus just yet because it's drying. I'm gonna paint my star. Um, and my star is gonna go up at the top. And so to paint your star, you're gonna do a straight line that looks like that. And we're gonna first make a cross. So we're making a cross that looks like this how we start our star and then to finish the star you're going to put an x inside the cross so it looks like this all right so there's my star on top of my ornament and um while i'm still sort of letting my hay dry i am going to paint the star on this one so i'm going to make my star a little bit larger because we don't have the barn on this one and again, I'm gonna start with a cross. That looks like that. And then I'm going to put an X through the cross like that. And on this one, let's experiment with maybe filling it in a little bit. All right, check out video two on the final steps on how to paint baby Jesus and complete your ornament.